Hey everyone watching, I'm Palfanom, and today we are back with the go-kart mower, or the race mower, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I have a few parts on the ground here again, which I want to show you. Uh, hopefully today, in this video, I'm going to try and crank out all the little small parts uh, that the lawnmower needs, or the race mower, or the go-kart mower, or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to call this thing, uh, but whatever it needs before I can get it driving. Um, so let me show you what I have on the ground here. So the first things uh, I'm going to bring up is this uh, L-bracket. Uh, this is a stereotypical L-bracket. This came off of the uh, transaxle um, when I took it off. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this is uh, the mount for the uh, caliper. And this is the caliper I ordered. Um, it's fully mechanical. Uh, I already adjusted it off camera and stuff like that, so it already fits in with the disc. I just did it off camera because it's, it's really easy. We need to record that and of course we have the disc with a one inch bore and it's keyed one fourth so that fits on my axle of course and then uh, we got this bag uh this is for the um for the disc brake uh you see the little sockets there and then the key uh this is for the clutch the little sockets too and then we have this uh, heavy duty clutch uh for a go-kart and it's it's got a good amount of teeth can see it it's pretty heavy actually we're probably always like two three pounds maybe four or five i don't know but yeah this is a heavy duty clutch for a heavy duty vehicle i guess you could say and it literally just came in i found it sitting right there and i came outside getting ready to record and i was about to say oh i'm waiting for the clutch and i look at the corner and i just see it sitting there in the box i'm like oh okay so now i guess i can uh, start installing it and stuff so the first thing I'm going to want to crank out probably is the brakes because I've actually had the brakes for about a few days, I guess. Um, also, why the lawnmower isn't out uh, in my driveway like it normally is. Um, no, it's not because of the leaves. Um, yesterday, I got into a bit of a bike accident. I guess I was riding my bike. I do uh, a lot of bike riding long distance, like sometimes even five, ten miles. Um, but I was coming around a corner and uh, I hit gravel and it was too late for me to slow down. Uh, the back end gave out at like 25 miles an hour. And I wasn't even wearing a helmet, I was wearing my hat. <laughs> and I flew off the bike, I tumbled many times and I flew into a ditch. And uh, I was okay though, luckily I didn't break anything. I was really scraped up though, my legs are really scraped up too, along with my hands. Um, but yeah, I'm fine afterward. But I just don't have the leg strength to reel this thing out because I am in a bit of pain still. But I'm fine, uh, at least enough to work on it. So right now I'm back here looking at the rear axle, as you can see. Uh, it's been a bit still. Everything's in sync. Also, you might be noticing some of this tape. I tried taping up the tire a bit back, just to see if it would help any sort of, uh, with uh, me losing uh, the air. And uh, it did help it a bit. Like, it lasted like a day, but then at the next day it deflated, so it did last longer than uh, what it used to. But uh, I think I just came to the conclusion I might just get like new rear tires because they're not very expensive, especially for these. Uh, I thought they would be pretty expensive, but they're not. But now that I look at this, I realize in order to install that disc, I'm gonna have to take off this entire axle. So I am gonna have to roll it outside. So um, I am gonna have to just deal with the pain of me pushing this heavy thing up there. And then I'm gonna prop it up with uh, the, <laughs> the rims since uh, my jack stand cannot reach all the way up there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to prop it up and then uh, pop off the axle, slide the um, disc brake on, and then put everything back together. And, uh, all right, so um, I got the disc on. See, it spins with the axle now. Uh, I just made sure the axle is lined up straight. Um, but yeah, so the disc is mounted up. I may have to loosen these uh, little uh, tensioner nuts or whatever. And uh, I have an L bracket and I'm gonna mount the um, L bracket there. I'm gonna have to drill some holes and then uh, hopefully it'll line up with the caliper. And if it doesn't, then I'm just gonna have to move the disc over and then uh, I'll be good to go. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a bit trying to figure out uh, how I'm gonna mount this to that properly without welding it. Uh, I just texted my friend uh, who's a welder who did the exhaust for me. He did a very good job with the exhaust. Uh, I texted him, see if uh, he was able to do it. 
and uh, he won't be able to do it till Monday. So um, I'm going to see if I can maybe drill um, holes. There are already two holes here um, that are already pre-drilled. And uh, maybe I can drill a hole on these two um, to line it up. And then I could just bolt them through. And then maybe uh, that'll uh, at least allow me to bypass uh, getting it welded. All right, guys. So it's a bit later. Um, luckily, I don't have to weld it. <laughs> I pretty much uh, got that drill bit. And I did what I did in the last video and put it in the hole and swirled it around for a very long time until uh, it bored out. And they just barely make it. And luckily, it's enough just enough for the caliper to slide underneath in this bracket and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can drill those holes and then uh, mount it up to the bracket I might have to do it tomorrow because it is getting dark out all right everyone so we are back uh, out here it's three days later um, because it's been raining for the past three days for I have absolutely no reason why the why it's been raining so much but uh, it's finally a good day for me to work on this thing. So, um, last time you guys saw this, which was a few days ago, I was uh, putting on the brakes. I'm going to finish putting on the caliper, and uh, hopefully I can get the uh, brake, uh, the little line or whatever, running to the pedal and uh, see if I can get the brakes working. Sorry for the glare. I don't know what's going on. Also, off camera, I put on the clutch. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I just put it on now. No need to record that because it's just sliding it onto the shaft and then uh, tightening down those little uh, little two things there. Right, guys so we are back two weeks later and uh yeah i had to blow out the garage because there was leaves everywhere in it uh it's like really small up right now i pulled the lawnmower in because i don't want to work outside it's it's been raining for like the past i don't even know like three four days maybe i don't know maybe five i don't know but like the weather's been terrible it's muggy out it's sticky uh there's leaves everywhere the ground's wet it sucks so i just pulled it in right now i'm just waiting for all the smog to kind of go away because i don't know if you guys can see it but <laughs> i kind of smoked out the garage so let me let me uh summarize what i've uh pretty much done at least last time um open the hood see the clutches on because like it's the easiest thing to install pretty much you just uh, get a hammer like a mallet just like a rubber mount and just bang it onto the shaft and i lined it up where i need it to be no big deal. I have no idea why the camera is acting bad. And then I have the kill switch. Um, I just kind of stuffed it there. That's not gonna. That's exact. That's not where it's gonna be. It's gonna be here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna actually wire that up. Uh, I said I was gonna wire it up last time, but I never did because, um, like I said, the weather and I've been busy with different stuff, so I haven't had the time to. And hopefully, I'm going. This is this one I'm gonna try and do right now is try and get that caliper working and like, you know, the whole brake system working because I've been uh, dying to get this whole system working. And uh, finally I have the chance to work on this thing. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna bring out all the stuff and uh, get to work on this. All right guys, so the caliper is um, 
um, in its mounting place right now. Um, I do need to put it uh, fully together since these two bolts that actually hold the caliper together uh, aren't really tight, so I need to take it off and uh, tighten that down. And I'm gonna try and figure out how to make that line work with uh, this. I was, uh, when I was putting it on, um, when you push down on the pedal up there, there's like a whole system underneath this lawnmower. And uh, instead of this going, uh, this, that line right here, instead of it going backward, it goes this way. So I put the, uh, you won't be able to see it, but uh, there's a little uh, notch. It goes up and down, so I put it that way. And then um, I think I have a way I'm gonna make it work. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take uh, the caliper off, line everything up, and then uh, see if I can make this work. All right, guys, so um, pretty much I got the caliper mounted where it needs to be. Um, so when I spin the wheel, you see it spinning now. I hit the little lever. It locks up uh, the tires just like it should. Uh, but now I need to figure out how I'm going to run uh, that line and make it work with the pedal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit of thinking and a bit of tinkering. And then uh, when I get an idea, I'll uh, start recording again. All right, guys. So we are back a couple of days later. The weather is like really nice out. It's been nice out for like the past couple of days. So like today's like the perfect day and it's the weekend. So I'm not busy doing anything. And so it's like the perfect day to work on the lawnmower. And um, off camera for like the past couple of days, um, when it's, the weather's been nice, I've been like kind of messing around with the brakes. And uh, I came to um, a little conclusion. I, I couldn't get it working, but then I just realized something now. Let me show you. So here's the caliper that I'm working with. And as you can see, there's a little pin there. Well, it's not like a pin, I don't know what it is. It's like a little silver piece. And um, here's the lever. And the lever, um, as you can see, there's a little uh, arrow right there. And uh, so typically when it's swept up like that, that means the, the pads uh, aren't engaged. And when you push it down, uh, the pads uh, engage. So um, if you take out that pin, um, I can flip it around because I noticed there's another hole there. I can flip it around and have the arm go the other way and that way and um, I actually took out the rod it's like just a little pin that holds it in it's no big deal uh, there we go uh, here's the little pin that holds it on uh, no big deal it's just like this end goes uh, to the brake right there and then this end shoots out and I notice there's a little hole uh, for it to focus Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. There's a little hole there. And uh, I can run like a little rod through there. And um, run the rod through here. And bend it like a Z. Like a Z shape. So it'll hook right onto it. And then uh, we should be good with the brakes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take apart the caliper. And uh, see if I can get that little pin out. Okay, so um, it's been a bit later. And um, I've been trying to get like the little pin out and uh, it's like very stuck in there um so um i have it um just soaking in um transmission fluid right there so uh i take it out that always works for me whenever something's stuck i just like uh soak it in transmission or brake fluid and it just pops right out but now while i'm waiting for that to soak um i do want to try and make a throttle system so um i'm not going to make a pedal because um First off, I'd have to take this out of the way, and I kind of want to keep that there in case I want to like link something up to it, which I probably will in the future. So I'm going to run with the um, kind of like how professional racing mowers are built and uh, just kind of have this sit like this on the steering wheel, which, um, which I'm going to do. I already took it apart and stuff like that. I actually cut it uh, on an angle a bit like that. So um, I just cut it with a Dremel so it sits perfectly just like that. I'm going to drill a small hole into the steering wheel i'm going to figure out where i want it first like i'm going to get like a little comfortable feel for it so i'm going to be here for a bit all right guys so it's like a really long time after it's like getting dark out now um this system didn't work because my throttle cable wasn't long enough um to reach it so um i had to kind of like abort that and also like the steering issue i told you about um like getting kinked it wasn't working right so um i kind of made a gas pedal i guess you could say pretty much i got like this block of wood and I uh, drilled two holes into the frame, like actually into this. Like I got a drill bit and drilled it in. And then I drilled these in, like those little nuts. And now 
it doesn't yeah it doesn't move neither does the gas pedal so pretty much uh, you can just sit down on it and uh run it and also um about this uh thing here um this is my throttle cable well at least the one i'm using i've had it sitting around and i thought like why not use it um let me well, it's got little threads. You can't see it because I have the flashlight on, but uh, it's got threads in it. And um, I was going to drill it in there on the arm, but it wouldn't reach. Well, like, it would reach, but uh, it wouldn't have enough length to pull it back fully. So I'm just going to, like, hook it up directly to this because, like, I'm just going to, like, tape it there. Why not? Temporarily because the reach on this is nothing. So, like, at least it's enough to pull it. And also it's, like, shortened so I can really get to it. So, um, I'm probably gonna have to hook it up tomorrow because it's getting dark out, and, um, I have, like, wild animals out here and stuff like that, and, uh, it's hibernation season, so I don't need to be out here for very long. I might pull it in the garage, who knows? But, um, anyway, I'll see you guys, um, once I hook up the throttle cable. Alright, so it's a week later after that clip of you guys saw me putting on the gas pedal. Um, I just want to quickly get this out of the way. Um, so I haven't had time, again, to record... So, um, I wasn't going to wait again, like another week or two to record anything. So I just decided to knock it all out of the way off camera without recording it as quickly as I could because I've been busy with school work and like a bunch of other stuff and weather has prevented me really from working on this thing fully. So I just wanted to get it all out of the way and, um, the brakes work and, um, the, the gas pedal works now and the ignition switch works. Uh, so pretty much all I have to do in the next video is just put the chain and the clutch. Well, the clutch is already on there, but I just got to put the chain and the sprocket on there. And then we should be good to drive this thing in next video, which I'm pretty excited for. Um, but yeah, that'll be uh, what I'll be doing next time when uh, you guys see me. So hopefully you guys will watch that video. And uh, sorry for not uploading in like two months because like I said, I've been busy. But anyway, next time you guys see me, I will be probably driving this thing, which is going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys then.